So we are just back from Tesco and we picked up the stuff that we needed to make the little Halloween themed treat. So really, really easy. I did record myself making a cake yesterday. You either will have seen it or won't have seen it because the cake tasted really nice, but it looked awful. I didn't have self-raising flour. So I did pick up some self-raising flour. So the ingredients for this are four oranges. I honestly think we could have gone bigger than we did. Self-raising flour, caster sugar, cocoa powder. I have Bourneville because I thought this was hot chocolate but it's like, well, maybe some people would enjoy it as hot chocolate, but I prefer sweeter hot chocolate, although Bourneville's my favorite chocolate. I don't like the cocoa. One medium egg, so I'll explain why I have two in a minute. And then sunflower oil. I have vegetable. Vegetable oil's a good cooking or baking oil because the flavor is fairly, what it's fairly unnoticeable. Because we do have five oranges, we're just gonna take the ingredients, divide by four times by five. So we need, I will tell you, seven tablespoons, calculate, Seven tablespoons of self raisins, so seven divided by four times by five, eight and three quarters, five tablespoons of sugar, six and a quarter, a tablespoon divided by four times by five, one and a half, one point and a quarter, one point and a quarter, three tablespoons divided by four times by five, three and three quarters, and then I'll use two eggs, which will probably be, well, it will be a little bit much, but the medium eggs, I would say these are inside of small. I actually picked up some ice lollies just because I like ice lollies, but I picked up this um, Twining Sleep Blend just to see it's. I actually don't know what it's gonna taste like. Spiced apple and vanilla with chamomile and passion flour, which is just like a lot of flavor, but I just thought it would be nice. Um, and then I also picked up this Allison's Yeast Easy Bake. So it says this can be used when a recipe calls for quick, fast action, instant or easy blend yeast. I would like to try and get into a little bit of bread baking in that. Because you let stuff prove, I was like, good bread is hard to make. The ingredients are relatively simple and soft. And I was like, if I got off one morning, like I could put the bread let it prove because I work from home I could come back to it like I could just go upstairs and work I could come back to it at 12 do a little bit let it prove and then bake it so I could like bake a loaf like most days and it wouldn't actually be that much effort because I'm upstairs anyway so I'd just be letting the bread sit on its own and then we also bought a giant pumpkin so i want to carve it but i'm also going to look into making pumpkin puree with the leftovers because i think it's more or less that you blend it i'm sure you can add sugar to make it sweeter and then i'll maybe try and make like a pumpkin pie or something so eight and three quarters tablespoons of flour six and a quarter tablespoons of sugar one and a quarter tablespoons of cocoa powder and three and three quarters of oil, which we keep in a milk bottle. I'm just gonna break the two eggs into one of the wee bowls. So that is all of our ingredients. So I obviously haven't taken you through how to make it yet. Why is Kyle's towel in the kitchen? But basically they are like going to be like orange chocolate flavored. Basically you're gonna cut off the top of the oranges and then take out like their insides and then the juice of the orange. You make like an orange flavored chocolate cake. Oh, too far. Oh, big chunky boy. <laughs> Stinking. So now that Kyle has cut the top off, top off we're gonna get out all of the inside, take the seeds out. Stinks, doesn't it? Why is it like crystallized? Huh? It's supposed to be one of those cocaine pumpkins I heard about. It's just frost. And then we're gonna roast the inside though. of it. And then we're gonna blend it. And then we've got pumpkin puree. I did not expect that. So I have a new approach. I'm gonna go in with my marigold, my cleaning gloves, which I actually own for a um, fake tan application because it can be quite good sometimes. But I think I just need to actually get my hands into the pumpkin because it's so stringy. I'm also a wee bit confused because I think I need like the actual inside of the pumpkin and not just like the string. So I'm gonna have to really get in with, I don't even know what's, what's best because a knife I feel like isn't the best, but a spoon isn't like sharp enough. So I'll have to figure out what the best way of like really hauling out the sides is. I think when you're actually getting pumpkin puree from a pumpkin and realistically we could have bought a small pumpkin for like a pound or two is you're actually just cut it in half then you can actually get it but then that's kind of wasteful because then you're using one pumpkin for the outside and one pumpkin for the inside so we're just gonna do it this way turns out a spoon is actually a pretty good utensil but i have no idea how much the minute i can't would be surprised if this made very much puree at all but they did say when you roast it in your oven they make sure it's going to last we need it because it stinks at the moment roasted pumpkin the pumpkin that is not yours but yeah 
I'm just gonna keep doing this. And also pumpkin seeds are keep scooping. Pumpkin seeds are good for you and people use them in salads and that. So they're good for birds too, you should fry them with some white seeds. I'm gonna eat them. So we'll I think we'll roast those separately as well. No. <laughs> It says recording. No, it says record because you just hit the record button. I watched it. Turn I keep thinking the red one's the on button. No, what is it? But on? it is on. On. The one that's on off is on. No, the wee kitten discovered it. It is. <laughs> yeah, it's really. I have to give. I you have to actually give credit to people who do stuff like this because unless they have two cameras, like it's really hard to get what's on your counter on screen while also you do it on screen. Do you know what I mean? So we've got the most of the pumpkin. Oh, Claudia, actually got a good amount. I think we've got pretty much as much of the pumpkin out as we're gonna get out. So that's how the pumpkin's looking. That's like fairly clean. And I have no idea like what the capacity of this bowl is, but this is how much inside we have. So I'm gonna separate the seeds and the flesh and then we're going to roast both. All right, so we have the pumpkin seeds and the pumpkin flesh roasting away in the oven. So we're gonna get on now to our little jack-o'-lanterns or our little orange jack-o'-lanterns. Um, and then this pumpkin puree and stuff like does actually last for a while. So I don't think we'll do anything with the pumpkin puree today, but I will let you know how I get on. Let's get into our little jack-o'-lanterns. Now I'm hosting, hoping that the pumpkin seeds will just be something nice to kind of have in like salad stuff, especially cause I am a vegetarian. I should be having, I think more like nuts and seeds in my diet. Okay, so the first step is to slice the top off the orange and set aside the top. Holding it over a bowl to catch the juice, run a small serrated knife around the inside of the skin to remove most of the flesh. Use a dessert spoon to scoop out the rest. You don't need to go down to the white pith. And then I'm assuming you put that all in a bowl. So let's do that. I'm gonna do all the oranges in one go. Let's see. Should have cut more of this one as a lid. I just repeated the same mistake. Now I'm gonna get a small serrated yes. knife. We have steak knives. Okay, so I'm gonna use this knife and just like go around the inside like this. Yeah, I think this makes sense. Could you get me a dessert spoon, please? Is that a big one? Well, actually, these oranges are maybe, do you think maybe a teaspoon would be better to do this? Oh my God, I thought that was written afterwards. I think I'm gonna need to go back in with the knife. Are you trying to scoop it out so it's just skin? Well, yeah, but it says like you don't need to go like right down to like... Yeah, uh, use a sharp knife. This is a serrated knife, which yeah. is what it says to use. Look, it's a steak knife. Hey, you do that and try one. No, too much juice in oranges. Yeah, they made a whole industry out of it. <laughs> oh, my daddy used to always get blood oranges at Halloween. I think we used to love it. And I also distinctly remember him getting <laughs> coconuts and then we used to be allowed to use the drill. <laughs> Do you never really see coconuts in the shops anymore, do you? Only as a whale. Hmm? Only as a whale. Or flakes. Could we charge over? No, like coconut flakes. No. You get them for bacon. Mmm. You eat that orange. Kai, that's not how you do it. What? I'm not biting the skin, I'm sucking out the end. Yeah, that's gonna go in the cake. The end? Yes! Oh. You better not have any germs on it. None worth catching. What's the slush? But do you make the batter and the jug or something and pour it yeah, in? Yeah, you pour it in. Or. But we're eating this or drinking this because I'm not putting it all to waste just because you only need yeah. a couple of tablespoons for the flavour. Zero waste. Try your best. Do you ever do do have TikToks or Instagram ever come up on your explore page? The ones where it's like three years worth of waste? No. And it's like a single bag? Oh yeah, that card. You know what used to be amazing, I bet? Before they had pictures and cookbooks and you try something new and you didn't really know what it was meant to look like. You just followed it. Probably caused less disappointment. I know, but it was also like, what the hell is going on? Okay. Oh, I'm sure you have a basic idea. Are you gonna stop recording? No, I need to jump in. Try mine. Okay, see if this well, doesn't work. I'm just gonna turn it off and on again. <laughs> we wanna see this through, but like faster. I'm uh, using I'm a knife. I'm using a knife. Although, if you have a serrated, sharp knife. Not, not. That's your bitch. No such thing. I'm not even on the camera. It'll be fine. Oh. I don't know if the camera goes tall enough. I don't need to. Look, that's, this is why women live longer, says one of those videos. Mm, I hate when he up shows me. Oh, <laughs> that was a good sound. I think you're gonna cut that in I don't know if that's what people like life for anymore. Oh no, this is just for fun. Oh my god, look at all the juice in it. It's like a wee moat. Oh, yeah, they made a whole industry about it, kind of. <laughs> if uh, you put some alcohol in there, I bet you that would taste class. It's quite a good idea. Oh, that's actually a really good idea. Thank you. We could do some sort of like themed, uh, and we could make cocktails. And, we'll fuck me and then serve it in the orange. Mm. <laughs> What's like a... Do any cocktails have orange in them? 
Yes, Sex on the Beach is orange juice and cranberry juice. Oh, that's And vodka. I love that one. Oh my god, Laura, this is so much better than yours. Oh, I'm joking. No offense. I'm offended. Okay, you can't see a difference, but there is one. There's not. Don't listen to him. We should move our workstation down a little bit. The camera. It's not funny when you have sharp knives. I have a spoon. That's not a knife. Yeah, I can't do it. I see you anything. play knifey spoony before, eh? It's the Simpsons order. Just get with it. <laughs> get with it 20 years ago. Um, okay, so we're gonna repeat. How many times do I have to do this? For all the oranges. I actually didn't ask you to do it. I could have done it myself. While Kyle is getting the juice from the rest of the oranges, I am going to... See, that's such a waste. I'm gonna make the cake, which is essentially that you put all the ingredients in a bowl and whisk it. I'm actually gonna whisk it into this so they can pour it into the oranges. But if you only put in a tablespoon of orange juice, which means like, in theory, I'm presuming that they would just throw that all out, which is such a waste. So maybe it's up to your imagination. I'm gonna do okay. the cake. Because we're not having a party. Like, this is a lot of work. But it's so that you guys can make it for a party. So we've made our cake mixture on the floor because my camera has died. It's charging. I added two tablespoons of orange juice. So now it's time to carve the oranges. Okay, so far I can tell you that I underestimated how easy it would be to cut out these oranges because the skin is so like flexible and they're also so small. So Kyle has carved pumpkin. I live in number 13. I also thought if we didn't do the base, it could have been like a 73 as well. Which is the number that Kyle lives in. Don't tell them that. Why? I just told them I live in number 13. Yeah, well then you can attack you. I pure had to bleep out the other day because when I was recording, you had Google Maps on. Oh really? Yeah. What is it like? I think it went, I think it went okay. Just imagine this is a scary pumpkin face instead of a number. I have just finished carving my oranges. I will say, if you are trying this, I would Don't say, do it. no, I, we got like medium sized oranges. I would say probably get those big oranges that you like cut into like triangles when you're eating them because these like started to fall apart when I was carving them. So shocked pumpkin, terrified pumpkin who lost his nose. Pumpkin that Kyle thought he could just squeeze the juice out of. So I tried to make him, this is just ripped. So I just went for like a one-eyed, kind of like a pirate look. Aye, aye. Just a classic pumpkin. Oh, say the, say the one without a nose again. I have a joke. No, it's okay. And then another guy who like lost his head. I guess now we're gonna fill them with cake and microwave them. For the cake, put the remaining ingredients in a bowl with one tablespoon orange juice and whisk until combined and smoothed. Done. And then it says working one at a time, half fill an orange. Half fill, an orange. Half fill an orange with cake mixture. Transfer to a microwave plate and microwave for two minutes. The cake might spill out of the top a little, but don't worry. I was gonna microwave them all together. It says microwave them one at a time. But I cut their mouths, which makes me think that surely it's gonna spill out of their like mouth hole. So maybe I should do it one at a time. Pumpkin bat. Sorry. See, content. it's spilling out his mouth. Is there any other spooky things? A cat? Oh, he ordered that wrong. I suspect that the orange is gonna be flipping or roasting. I'm gonna go to take it out. And also, I think it'd be easier if I just filled it with a spoon rather than poured it. I mean, it didn't tell me to pour it, so that's not a criticism of the recipe. I just am realizing myself. I mean, it does not I mean that there's cake all over the top, cake batter, but I can eat that. Oh, that's no. honestly fine. I guess I'll have to lick it up. Ooh, look. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I really want that to that's bake it. that way. That would be good, wouldn't it? I think that's gonna explode. Money on that explosion. Two minutes does feel like a long time to let it just do its thing. That's the first cake done. I've learned I really should microwave it on the plate that it's on. But look at him. The pumpkin is looking. I've no idea how to tell if it's bright or not bright. So I'm just gonna food process it and make it into a puree. And that'll be that. <laughs> okay, so I'm ready to reveal the fruits of my labor. This is our pumpkin puree. It just looks like a large bowl of my mom's butternut squash soup. Smells and tastes pretty similar to just butternut squash. I don't really know how pumpkin has been like tricked into, be be into being a sweet flavor. So I'm just gonna let this cool. And then I think during the week, I think I'm gonna either try and make a pumpkin pie or Kyle and I saw like a pumpkin bread thing. I almost think it would be better just making a pumpkin pie because that's supposed to just taste like pumpkin. If we're gonna make bread, we might as well make nice bread. And I will now reveal my pumpkins. I need one more. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, Jordan. I'm just gonna fall. <laughs> Honestly, it's fine. I need one more screw. This is gonna look like something. To be fair, all in all, I think I probably would recommend trying this. I think it's a lot of waste. Like, I've been literally eating this orange juice. Can't really see it. You can't see it. I've been eating this orange juice with a spoon. <laughs> I actually probably could have done it up in the food processor, but because we were doing the pumpkin, I didn't want to mix the flavors. I would recommend getting much bigger oranges because if you cut too high up, they split at the top. If you cut for, too far down, they just pour it out immediately. So I'm gonna go from worst to best. This guy is the worst. He couldn't sit up. So then his cake has just come out like the back of him, making it look like he has a voluptuous wig. So that's how he looks. Then there's this guy. He looks okay. I guess the cake is supposed to be like, it's like guts. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, try to watch your language. Oh my god, why did I say like I was too fast? This guy I quite like. He's got the vomit look going on. That's but what I did. Most of them kind of look like they have the vomit look going on. Have I shown you? Oh yeah, I've shown you that guy. But he looks the best. I think we're doing the worst. Then best. we have this guy. Oh yeah. He's a combination of vomit and his brains coming out the back. That's a bad day. And then this guy's my favorite because he looks like he's bleeding out his eyes. But he also looks like he has. No, but do you not think he looks like he has a full slick back wig on? Look, like an 70s rock star. What? Yeah. So that is that. And Kyle and I are going to taste test. So here is our pumpkin. Like I said, the 13, and then this is upside down face that Kyle did. I'm gonna turn the camera upside down, but will that work? Oh, it does work, it looks very ghoulish. Yeah, he was gonna do a bat, and then he changed it to an upside down face. So he's attached these teeth with screws. It's massive as well, so we're gonna put it outside. Kyle and I are gonna eat. I did that one. You did that one? Yeah. I'm not convinced, I don't think milk cakes tend to be the nicest, to be honest. You're not on even on screen time. Well, it's not this hard, is it? Am I meant to be critical or just like, to be honest. just eat? Why would you not take them inside him? Try over. What do you think? No, it's not good. I would say if you're gonna try this, if you have a mug recipe that you like, just substitute it into this. You'd be better making actual cake batter and putting it in it yes, and like cooking it. I don't know, do you think they could be done in the oven? Yeah. I think though, may have soggy edges. But any spillage would really spill out in the oven because this obviously like, cooks and hardens quickly. I think it's fine for like a kid's party or something. It's fine. Is it paper? Is there paper on it? Mm -hmm. No, it's the dry. It's the inside of the oranges dried. Are you sure? Looks good. It's okay. Uh, it's not particularly chocolatey. More aesthetic than. Yeah, eat. I'm not that aesthetic. <laughs> so. I would say get get as big oranges as you can. Or like even a grapefruit, because I'm not really getting any like orange flavor. Do as big or as big an orange as you can. And add more of the juice. Yeah, add more juice. juice. And then that looks like apple. The pumpkin puree is just pumpkin puree. Like I don't really know what to expect. Do you want to come over and end the video with me? Yes. Pumpkin is all everyone. No. Yeah, that is us doing some seasonal activities and baking. I hope you enjoyed. If there's anything else you'd like to see, especially if there's anything else Halloween related, I have guess. I know what I'd like to see. What would you want to see? My prom. The, you can go look at it. No, I want them. That's different from what you'd like to see. I asked them what they'd like to see. Um, yes, anything Halloween related, make sure you let me know. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.